everybody welcome back to my channel um so normally this time of the month i would be recording my third video of boxycharm versus ipsy which one is mama marvelous meaning which one is great for moms great for people that um maybe aren't necessarily mothers but great for people who aren't you know super glam or um you know who are more budget conscious or you know things of that nature because we're always looking to save a dollar save a buck here or there and makeup is expensive so we want to get good quality makeup without having to spend a lot of money but we also you know subscribing to a subscription service does tend to be a little nerve-wracking only because you don't have any control over what is in the bag other than you know, putting in your hair color and maybe some personal preferences. So I love to do like a battle of the bags to the two subscription services that I subscribe to. So I do both Ipsy and BoxyCharm. But BoxyCharm is having some issues this month. They are not here yet. BoxyCharm. So I am, I was super excited this month too because I get the Boxy Lux. So every three months you get a bigger Boxy Charm box and it costs a little bit more money. I'm not going to get into it too much because it's not even here, but I don't have it. It is the 17th of the month and I just got the shipment notification on Friday and it's not even tracking yet. It's still sitting in Georgia waiting to even be picked up by a FedEx truck. So... I only have Ipsy today, which will make for a shorter video for you. It's an Ipsy bag. Is it worth it? Is it good for people who are more on the spectrum of average with makeup? You like makeup? I love makeup. I love it a lot. I don't wear it every day and I'm not a makeup artist, but I love to have it. I collect it. It's one of the things I'm really passionate about. That's kind of why I like to dive into it, break it down a little bit and really talk about it from a more average person, average consumer standpoint. Does that make sense? Is, is it worth 10 bucks every month? Let's talk about it. So, every single month, Ipsy, a $10 a month service, sends five curated products for you. They have, um, they take a quiz when you first sign up and then you put in all your preferences like your hair color, skin tone, eye color, things of that nature. And it asks you about specific products you don't want to get. So I hate getting nail polish because we just don't use it. So anyways, it always comes in like a little mini zipper bag like a little mini makeup bag and this month is my favorite yet my absolute favorite this is the bag this month it is a rose gold bag and on the outside it says and off she went to change the world super cute i'm all about girl power like i grew up in the age of the spice girl i'm a little bit older than a lot of beauty influencers out there, not that I'm calling myself a beauty influencer, I'm not, I'm not even on the same spectrum, but I'm an older goat, let's just call it that. So I'm a Spice Girl, you know, child, Spice World came out, we all loved them, we have the dolls, and you know, so this is definitely like a, a girl power phrase, you know, and off she went to change the world. So this is one of the bags I'm definitely going to keep. It's super, super cute. Let's, let's just get into it, let's stop talking. Okay, so the first thing that I got was a smaller size sample of the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. So Ulta website has this, or Ulta has this on their website and it has 4.5 stars out of five. I have never been a huge Tarte mascara person. It's just me, but I will tell you, listen. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, I'm a nerd, I'm sorry. Okay, get it into the brush. You can see it is like a, it's a silicone head brush. It has a lot of the teeny tiny, can I get it to focus? Teeny tiny bristles and um, it's a bigger wand, which is nice. I'm not a huge fan of the tiny mascaras and I know it's just a mental thing for me because it's just as good as a full size mascara. It just isn't a smaller tube, but for whatever reason, like I'm mentally like spoiled and I want the full size too. So I did try this and I will say that of all the Tarte mascaras that I've tried and I've tried pretty much all of them, I'm pretty sure I have tried all of them, is this is my favorite. Uh, it reminds me a lot of some other mascaras that I have. Um, there's a, one by Buxom that is just like this and I think there's another one by Urban Decay that is just like this as, as far as like brush and bristles. And I didn't see anything super remarkable about the formula but if you like that kind of brush, 
I will say that it's really, it's a good brush. It's not too flexible. I don't like that, but it's not too stiff, but it also has that amazing pop sound. One more time. <laughs> so you're not going to get, and you can see, you're not going to get, ugh, you're not going to get a ton of product on your bristles. So you're not going to get tarantula lashes. The full size version of this is $23. It's literally half the amount that you'll get in a full size tube of the Maneater mascara, which is really awesome. I think because that's a good value. I mean, you're getting, instead of just getting like a little bit of little baby portion, you're getting half of the tube and you're getting it for, you know, you spent $10 on your bag. This is worth $11 and 50 cents. So you've paid for your bag with the very first product. And that's the way we like to start off these unbagging. The next item that they sent is a full size item and they sent a makeup brush, which I have said it before. And I will say it again. I love, 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 love getting makeup brushes in my subscription service boxes because they are expensive oh my god and I have not got a bad brush yet now go figure right but I really haven't this is super soft I mean so so soft and this is the royal and lang nickel chic rose gold blush brush now I could not find this brand on any of the websites that I normally check I usually go Sephora Ulta Beautylish and sometimes I check Kohl's. So I did not find that on any of those websites. I did find it on the, I have to look at it because it's kind of a weird name, Royal and Lang and Nickel website. So this is a $4 brush, which, okay. And it, it makes me want to go back onto the website because when I tell you this is so soft, I mean, it is like baby soft. It's a good size. You can see it really is good. It's a blush brush. So I have tinier, like a tinier face. So my my cheekbones are hard to do blush with sometimes so it really does do a great job of just applying the anyways you can see it's a nice dome top brush it's not too thick you get a little bit more control and it's really soft and I could just sit here and do this all day um there were no reviews so um that kind of stinks but it is what it is it's a full-size item and there's always usually one in your ipsy bag so I will take it I love it I will use it the next item I got, which took me forever to track down, is the Ciate London Lip Luster Gloss. And this is in the shade Kiss Me. And it's it's a nice gloss. It's a basic gloss. It's got the glitter in it. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. A little bit, a little bit. It's a basic gloss. It's not sticky. It's not heavy. Is it the glossiest gloss I've ever put on my lips? No, but I'm not getting like the gloss strings that sometimes you get when you know, the gloss is too thick or gloopy and it has a really nice cupcake smell. So I went on to Sephora because Sephora sells Ciate London. They did not carry this product. The only place I could find it was on Ciate London's website. And by the way, if you haven't seen their Jessica Rabbit, like their Jessica Rabbit collection, oh my God, it's so cute. Anyways, shiny. This lip gloss is two mils and um, it's about half the size of a full size lip gloss, which, you know, that's kind of standard. So I did the website for Ciate London is from London, England, obviously. So it's in pounds, but a full size costs $19 and 98 cents in us dollars or 15 pounds. So I really had a hard time, um, calculating the value of this. It's going to be around $10. I mean, give or take, which again, isn't too bad. And the third item I received today was the, was, um, a mini pan of the pure cosmetics afterglow and this is called the mini highlighting skin perfecting powder so I was a little bit confused about this product and since I was doing my research for this video I kind of answered some of my own questions which helped this is what it looks like outside it's nice per you know a nice sheer color it's looks like a highlighter so when you swatch it it feels good it's not dry it comes off on the finger really nice I can actually like swatch my hand because my hands aren't so ungodly dry now so you know it swatches nice it, it's got a nice kind of let me turn the bring the light back up there we go it's got a nice like champagne -y, you know glow to it but when I wore it as a highlighter on a different day, it really didn't pop. It wasn't really punchy. And when I was on the website, it was kind of saying that it was meant to be used almost as a finishing powder to give you like that glowing effect. But I feel like it's almost too much. Like you can even, you can see like right here. That's a lot, especially for somebody with, you know, maturing skin or more mature skin. Like, hello, say hello to my little accordion forehead. Um, 
it's going to make imperfections in your skin, textured skin, imperfections are going to show up more because that's what highlight does. It's going to highlight your skin and it's going to bring out things that maybe you're trying to hide. Um, so putting a powder all over your face like that is not going to be very flattering, but I mean, it's pretty and it's really not going to be great for deeper skin tones. It's definitely a fair skin tone. So obviously the profile works for Ipsy, but, um, the jury is still out on this. Do I think it's wearable? Yes. Do I think it's going to work for somebody who is looking for just a subtle highlight on the cheek? Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Like I said, it's nice and buttery smooth. It's not dry. Um, it, I, jury's just out. We're going to leave it at that. The jury's out. And that product is sold on Ulta and it had five stars. So that's kind of why I'm still on the fence because I want to play with it a little, a little bit more. That sample size, again, was kind of hard to calculate. So I gave it a $5 value. Um, the last item in my box is an item that I have not tried yet. And it is the I Do Care mask by it's a peel off mask and it's an illuminating diamond by the brand disco kitten and this is a brand that is available at ulta and it comes in this little black box and then i looked right into the light now i'm blind okay it's a little sample size and it's a peel off mask okay so here it is right here it kind of looks like you put a thin coat of like pearl on your face but uh it had four stars or it had just under four stars at Ulta, but I mean, it was so close to four, it might as well be four. But uh, this sample size, they actually sell this size in store for $3.99. So if you're looking for a peel off mask, it is, you know, it is pretty uh, affordable. So the total value for the bag this month was $35.03, which you paid $10 for it. Okay, yeah, I mean, there weren't, a, there wasn't anything flashy. And I'm always looking for something flashy because I am a flashy kind of girl. I like that kind of stuff. But for someone who is looking for usable makeup that they can use, I find that this bag hit the nail right on the head. I feel like everything in here is usable. Um, I think there's a place for each of these items in my home. I'm not going to be passing any of this makeup on. So that's a win. There's usually at least one item that I'm kind of like, nah. um, but I mean, overall, I think it was a good box. And, but there was just nothing flashy. From a practicality standpoint, it's very practical. So I will say that it was a very practical month. So let me know what you think. Sound off below. Did you get some different items? Did you get some of the same items or any of these items, something that you currently use in your routine now? Can you give me some insight on what you think of the Tarte mascara? Or maybe if you're using the Disco Kitten, can you give me some insight? Or even more importantly, on the Pure Highlighter, can you give me some tips and tricks that you're using if this is a product that you're using? I'd love to hear it. If that you enjoy this video, please subscribe if you have not done so already. I truly like I'm overjoyed every time I get a new subscriber. I am truly grateful for each and every one. And I am such a baby channel, so I'm still trying to grow. And would love to see you share this video with a friend. Or, you know, even if you just subscribe and then comment and say hi below. I would love that. I would love to start, you know, engaging with you guys and meeting you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will leave the link in the comment section below. Or in the description box below. I'm sorry. And I will also put... um I will put the link for Ipsy on in the description box also. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you subscribe. Hope to see you commenting below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.